Hey, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making a healthy buffalo chicken dip. It is whole 30 and dairy free and it's all made in the crock pot. We love this recipe for parties as a dip. We also love to put it in sweet potatoes and eat it for dinner. Even though it is dairy free, you would have no idea because it is so creamy and delicious and flavorful. It's so simple. We're gonna get started with a pound and a half of shredded rotisserie chicken and you're just gonna put that straight into the crock pot. If you don't have a rotisserie chicken, you can also use chicken breast. Just throw it in the oven at 425 for about 16 to 18 minutes until it reaches 165 degrees, and then just shred it with two forks. After your chicken, you're gonna add one cup of coconut cream. It's a full fat coconut cream that kinda sits on top of the can that you would get in the baking aisle. Then you're gonna add one cup of Paleo Mayo. We really love the Primal Kitchen brand. After that, you're gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of dried chives, one and a half teaspoons of dried dill, and then one teaspoon of paprika. After that is the best ingredient. You're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of hot sauce. We use the Red's, Frank Red's hot sauce. It's just really good and flavorful, easy to find. You can use less if you want it less spicy or more if you want it more spicy. Give it a quick stir to make sure everything's incorporated, then close the lid and you're gonna cook it on low for two to three hours. And you may wanna open the lid and stir it a few times just to make sure nothing's getting stuck to the bottom. It's been cooking in the slow cooker for about two to three hours and our house smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. It is so creamy, even though there's no dairy in it. And so today we're gonna eat it for a meal. We love to put it inside of a roasted sweet potato. You could also scoop some chips into it and eat it for a football game or a party. But today we're going in with a sweet potato and we like to serve this with broccoli on the side too. The chicken is so tender. It's got just a little bit of a kick from the hot sauce. It is so good. I love it inside of this sweet potato. One of the best dinners you will have, I swear. I have tons of awesome dairy-free dinners just like this one. So if you wanna keep cooking with me, check out these recipes.